My Wonder Indiana project is about Indian horse rescue. I was so excited to visit and learn about Indiana horse rescue because I love horses. And my grandparents had two horses named Toasty and Poco. The nice lady who showed me around is Catherine and runs the Frankfort Horse Rescue Farm. The reason the horses are here is neglect to keep them from being slaughtered or the owners just couldn't afford them anymore. It takes $2,500 each month to keep, keep the Frankfort Horse Rescue running. This cost includes feeding, sheltering, maintaining the facility for veterinarian visits, and having a farrier come out. A farrier trims horse, horse's hooves and can do correction of horse shoes. It is recommended that a facility should have an acre per horse. At the time of my visit, there are about 30 animals. They always need help with finances and donations. Some horses are being starved or physically neglected. Horses are like people. They are like us because they need food, water, and shelter. Horses like being around other horses and people who care for them. Horses need friends. Another fact, horses can communicate with each other. Horses are just like people like to have fun and entertainment to pass the day. For example, galloping is a great way for horses to have fun and get some exercise. Some horses are easily chilled in cold weather, just like people are considered cold-blooded. Hay nets can keep, them, keep a horse from getting bored. Horses have lots of muscles and strong legs that allow them to run very fast. Horses' senses are very sharp. They have excellent hearing, very good eyesight, and strong sense of smell. Fun fact. There is more nutrition in grass during the summer than in the fall and winter grazes. It is a good idea to have a cell phone if you ride a horse in the street in case of an emergency. Horses need to have clean feet before going outside so they should have their hooves scraped and checked before going for a ride. You need to have a blanket for your horse when it's cold or wet outside. Horses need to have clean stables so they have better health and so they don't get infections such as thrush. Saddles and bridles have many parts, cleaned and well maintained. You need to measure the amount of food and water you give your horse. You need to know how to bandage your horse, horse's ankle and legs to prevent serious injuries. You might get wet when washing a horse. Volunteers give eight hours, two hours, however much time they can. Volunteers at Indiana Horse Rescue clean, scrub, fill water buckets, repair a fence, hold horse for farrier, catch the horses, show people around, clean stalls, and they love them. Many volunteers were there when I visited, and they were working on the fence, mowing the yard, brushing the horses, feeding the horses, and much more. One volunteer named August had even adopted a horse from Indiana Horse Rescue, and she let me ride it. The horse I rode is Bracket. If you can't volunteer but love horses, you could adopt one of the horses at Indiana Horse Rescue. Filling out an application means applying for approval to adopt a horse. There are about three pages, including reference on the application. Reference means somebody who knows you personally through or through business dealings that can give you give their own description of what type of person you are. For example, are you nice, responsible, kind, and caring? Brochure's Facebook page and the Indiana Horse Rescue website provide information about the type of horses at Indiana Horse Re Rescue Farm and describe how some horses may have been abused. To sponsor a horse, you do a good deed. To buy a horse, you help a horse get a home. The Indiana Horse Rescue Organization is important to Indiana because it gives horses a safe place to stay without getting hurt and shows that Hoosiers care about nature and the environment.